France won, Poland won. Uh, France are now second in Group D after looking like they had complete control of the group. Before we start, guys, there's a revolution happening in Kenya. It's actually quite sad what just happened to the youth who lost their lives yesterday trying to fight for our rights. So, yeah, um, going to do this is a bit of a heavy heart, but you guys are heroes, man. Like, yeah, tomorrow we're back in the streets. So, yeah, France versus Poland. Um, France... Yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a. They had the chance to <laughs> finish top, especially with Poland playing for nothing. You know, um, this game was marred by two penalties. Um, well, not marred, but like it was two penalties apiece. The second one, obviously, Lewandowski missed the first shot, then um, had to take had to retake the penalty because Mignon, M Mike Mignon had left his line, so. Lewandowski took it again, same side, starter step, and managed to slot it in the corner. He was really waiting for this goal. Um, hoping this is not his last tournament because the guy is getting up there in age. I know for sure he won't retire from international football. Well, I think. But just his injury record, especially with tournaments, it's it's becoming... You can't depend on him to play a full tournament. These three games, like a game after three days, three games... Three games in the space of like 10 days, where there's like, after every three days you're playing a game, after every three days you're playing a game, or in the space of eight days, I should say. Um, yeah, so France get a 1-1 one -one draw against Poland. Obviously, they finished second in the group. I We tried to watch this game. We didn't really watch much of it. We were watching the Netherlands game a bit more and trying to follow what's happening in our country. So bear with me today with regards to my recap. It's not as detailed. It's just, I'm just reacting basically to what this means for France. So they are going to go into the knockout stages as a second. Uh, who are they going to play? I don't think it's been determined yet, but what it means is that, oh, they're going to play a second in Group E, the second place team in Group E. And Group E right now has um, Romania, Belgium, Slovakia, and Ukraine. So everyone is on three points there. So it's actually hard to predict who's going to finish second. But... We could probably have a France-Belgium round of 16 game. Um, you never know. But we'll know more tonight when those two teams play. Um, Mbappe came back. He was he was okay. The one thing that was very, very glaring, oh, one thing, um, is that every time they attacked on the wing, there was never anyone in the D. I have a feeling, guys, we're going to see Olivier Giroud starting <laughs> one of these games in the round of 16 or quarterfinal if they make it there. Because they just don't have a presence. Like, they keep attacking so well, but there's no one in the middle of the box. It was on many occasions where there's, like, space in the middle, somewhere to cross to, but there's just no one to cross to, right? Because Mbappe has broken, no one to cross to. Bacola has broken, no one to cross to. Um, who did they start with? Who did they start with? They started with Dembele, Mbappe, and Bacola up front. So, yeah, I just think it was... It was just the balance of the team was a bit weird without... Um, without a proper center forward. They normally have, I keep forgetting this guy's name, Marcus Turam to come and play down the middle, but he also just doesn't have that, you know. Um, he also just tends to go wide a lot. This is why I see, I really see the importance of Griezmann in this team because regardless of what happens, Griezmann will always find his way into the box. So he didn't start this game and I think they really missed him and you can see why. So... Moving forward, Griezmann has to start. It was good to give him a rest. Yeah, like you, at least he gets to rest. He's one of your key players. Wherever you can get rest time for any of your key players, you do it. Mbappe basically has missed one game. So, well, he has missed one game. So technically, he has rested one game. Um, despite breaking his nose. Um, yeah. I think they're in a good place, to be honest. It, it just depends who they meet. Because finishing second now means they're going to... There's no fixture that's going to be easy for them. And the other thing is, actually, by the way, that I need to tell you guys, is that they now land on the same side of the bracket as uh, as as Portugal, Germany, and Spain. So that round of 16 game is going to be wild. It's going to be wild because Spain may meet Germany in the quarters, Portugal may meet France in the quarters. Yeah, it's going to be insane, regardless. But, yeah. That is how the game ended 1-1. One, one. Again, guys, um, heavy heart, a lot of things happening in our country. So 
Yeah, pray for us.